Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Thursday afternoon, February the 9th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct first, race 7 on their card, 3.17 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a 6 furlong sprint on Aqueduct's winterized inner dirt track, 3 year olds race for an allowance prize of some $52,000. Contenders number six, Panthro, number four, Ludo Bagman, number three, Dr. Copper, and number one, Hooked on Dance. Number six, Panthro, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony as the overall speed and pace profile leader in this allowance field. Sprinting at today's distance of six furlongs on the dirt, has hit the board in power run fashion in two of his three career starts to date, including a power run win in his last start, which was his maiden breaker. Jockey Cornelio Velasquez was in his irons for that win 25 days ago here at the Big A, which produced a positive 75% return on investment in the process, is back today for his second ride, gunning for back-to-back -back circle trips. Number four, Ludo Bagman, a 6-1 to one shot, has hit the board in power run fashion in both of his two career starts to date, including a maiden-breaking power run win in his respective last start. Race 7 summary, number 6, Pound Throw, tops my contenders list today, which also includes number 4, Ludo Bagman, number 3, Dr. Copper, and number 1, Hooked on Dance, 6-4-3-1 in the 7th from the Big A. Go to Gulfstream Park next for race 3, 134 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is a six furlong sprint on the dirt track. Four-year-olds and up race for an optional claiming prize of some $56,500. Contenders number two, Gourmet Dinner. Number seven, Golden Maca. Number three, Traveling Man. And number one, Rebo Arabo. Number six, Gourmet Dinner, the pace profile leader in this optional claiming field this afternoon, sprinting at or about today's distance of six and a half furlongs on the dirt, takes a two-level Trackmaster class drop, and is a perfect three for three into the circle, sprinting at today's distance. He's turned in power run performances in five straight starts, hitting the board in four, including a power run win in his fourth race back. Number seven, Golden Maka, six to one shot, has turned in a quartet of power runs in his last five, including a power run win in his fifth race back in a race which was contested at today's Trackmaster Plus class level of 99. Race three summary, number two, Gourmet Dinner, tops my contenders list, which also includes number seven, Golden Maka, number three, Traveling Man, and number one, Rebo Rabo. Two, seven, three, one in the third from Gulfstream Park. Bonus long shots, Tampa Bay Downs, race four, the 15 to one bomb. Number two, the Tito Angel, a French bread entry. The overall speed leader in this claiming field, sprinting at seven furlongs on the dirt. Charlestown, race three, check out the 10 to one bomb. Number seven, Mystic Echo, a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony qualifier, takes a six level class drop. Nice overall speed for this four in one half for a long sprint. So handicapping from both the Big A, Aqueduct, and Gulfstream Park on a Thursday, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.